J.K. McLeod. Today I'm toying with a pretty rare saw. How rare? I can find zero documentation on it. I've tried web search and you know, chainsaw forums, and you, know, you, you get an odd mention here and there, but as far as year of manufacture, the how many cc's, the whole nine yards, nothing. It fell out of the sky. But here's what I can figure out so far. It's a Lancaster pump and manufacturing model 655. And I believe it has a, you know, a Tecumseh engine on it. At least that's what the markings say. And consulting the great book of Tecumseh, it puts it at an AH58 engine. Which should put it in the area of about 95 cc's. You know, the, now the gentleman I got it from claimed that it run well, that it runs well, and actually it does. I was surprised. You know, usually like, oh, I put it away, it ran when I put it away last year, kind of thing. But no, it, it actually runs fairly well. It does need a carburetor rebuild. The diaphragm is is kind of petrified. You know, I can get it to. You know, idle, okay, but if you if you run it a little too a little too rich and it starts to load up and you back off a little bit and it's, it leans out until it stalls. That means that the diaphragm is petrified. It's just not doing what it's supposed to. Unfortunately, I have a rebuild kit for it, and the carburetor is a Lawson slash Tecumseh. I'm not sure of the model yet. What do you? You know, but they're, they're all pretty much basically the same. The diaphragms haven't changed. It's, it's like a uh, like a Tillerson HL. You know, 20 different models and, and you know, one rebuild kit will we'll pretty much cover it. They all have the same diaphragm. Uh, you see it runs well. It's a 404 chain. Uh, decent organ bar and, and sprocket nose. Uh, it, it is mushroom a little in. The bar has to be dressed. Uh, the sprocket will need to be replaced. I have to figure that out. But I mean, sure that it, it it runs well. It's you know it makes quite a bit of noise. And the, and the strange part is the you know, the end filter sits on top. Now the other Lancaster, some have on the bottom. Some they sit forward. Some they sit backwards. This one here actually pretty good, pretty decent saw. Now, the only thing I can find out when I do a, a YouTube search on this is, is the uh, the 820, which has the West Bend engine, which I thought it had originally because they they do use this muffle. But no, it's a Tecumseh. It's run well. So I'm going to pull apart the car, clean it out, pop it back on, and see what we get. I'll keep you updated.